Hey, Evan with uh, Gaming Materials Test Center here with you. Uh, going to talk about ASTMD 2256 today. We're going to tell you all about it. Okay, so uh, ASTMD 2256 is a, uh, a commonly requested test by us, and uh, we wanted to show you a little bit more about it today. So uh, I have some examples here that uh, are common examples of what you would use ASTMD 2256 for. Uh, you know, you've sort of got your multi spun yarns. Uh, we have a, 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 a single strand wire that might be hard for the camera to pick up. Um, hopefully you can kind of see that. It's, it's really small. It's a single strand wire. Uh, that's, that's a very common thing for us to test, as well as other types of cord or, or uh, you know, type of yarn or string. These are the types of tests. So this test is a, same, a simple test. It's, it's a tensile test. Uh, you, we need about 14 inches uh, per specimen. The gauge length is in the vicinity of 10 inches. Um, and it's real simple. You put it on the grips, you pull it, and the information that you get from this test is strength, elongation, um, and that sort of stuff. And so this test is real simple. Uh, these are the types of things we do. And uh, I'll let this get to the machine and show you how it's done. So here we have our yarn specimen set into a pair of pneumatic grips with smooth, flat faces. We have the PSI set to roughly 15. That is good for this specimen because we don't want to go too high and cause a pinch at the grip interface. If the specimen breaks at that grip interface or if the specimen slips inside the grips, we have to call this a no-go test and throw that data set out. Uh, the other, we have a 10 pound or 110 pound load cell set into this system, which is accurate to a half a percent, which is definitely good for this test. As you can see here, we have a preload set to a roughly 0 0.05 pounds of force, and this is so that we get all the slack out of the system before we start the test. We have our extension here set to zero inches with the gauge length at 10 inches. So we are ready to go. So uh, here it is. So as you can see there, we had a good test for our yarn specimen. It broke in between the grips, not at the interface, and there was no slippage. As you can see from the graph, we had a good load path and a good break. So next we're going to show you the same test with a metallic fiber. Okay, so hopefully this gives you a little bit of an overview for ASTM D256 that uh, you know, tells you a little bit about the cords and the tensile properties of them. If this is something that we can help you with here at Gateway Materials Test Center, please give us a call, 336-217-5184, or you can visit the website, gatewaymaterialstestcenter.com.